So uh, last week we had uh, the big uh, meeting filled with people here from dog leashes. And uh, standing in the back was a policeman, uh, sheriff, actually, Sheriff Hunter. Um, it was very unusual. I don't think I've ever seen a sheriff here. And apparently, through the grapevine, it was to keep the peace. And I don't know what, for what reason, it was determined that we need to keep the peace. It wasn't, I, I didn't really have much problem with that, although it seems rather paranoid that the first controversial issue would invite uh, police presence. But the one uh, thing that was wrong about that was for him to solicit opinion uh, on our law here. He doesn't live in town. He was in uniform, armed. He was uh, acting in an official capacity. And it, I think it was very wrong to allow him to be politicized. It's equivalent, in my judgment, to having a doctor promote a patent medicine. It basically degrades the office. And whoever did it, I assume Justin would be the responsible party, I think owes an apology to the Sheriff's Department and the public at large. So I'll just respond with factual information regarding that. The reason for the Sheriff had nothing to do with what was on the agenda at that time. It was entirely due to recent recent public behavior in trying to ensure that we continue to have orderly meetings in response to what the officer said. There was no asking of him to weigh in on the issue. He did so at his own, and, and response to that has been given to both the district and to you from the sheriff indicates that what he said was not inappropriate or out of order. How do you know what he said to me? It's, I'm, there's, there's, this is not. This again continues to not be a back and forth, Stephen. I'm responding to to what you what you brought up. So, moving on. Are there any further public comment for items? On